Okay, so I'm pretty happy today because um, they came out with a new beta for the Pi Play, and uh, well, let's check it out. So, you guys know the uh, hardware I built here with um, get this coke out of the way with uh, HDMI port power, which is the old VGA monitor. And uh, six button layout joystick, four, five buttons, three optional, player one, player two, two players actually not hooked up. So let's go ahead and fire this up. This is Pi Play Beta, uh, Pi Play 8 Beta 4.1, and they have been working their butts off because uh, this is pretty awesome. Uh, some of the stuff uh, that they added is now a back button. I just use this for a main cabinet, main, main in the box, as I call it. Um, it uh, I haven't I haven't done anything with the Super Nintendo, the Nintendo emulator, Sega, anything else like that. I have a PlayStation 2 that's fully modified. If I want to play those games, I play it on there. This, I just wanted a bar top arcade. I wanted an arcade, which is what this thing is. 200 and... 2,270 something games. They added a scraper now, so it automatically goes out to the net, loads up your image, I'll show that. They added a back button now, so I can exit out. Also, the buttons are fully configurable in main for all, because that's what I use, and that's what I wanted this for. Uh, buttons are completely configurable now, and I'll show you that you can um, really do anything with this. So when you first boot it up, default looks like this, okay? And uh, on this one, you actually have to go and they have a thing where it'll install main for all because it's not on there, but they've got it set up where it does everything itself. Um, it is still kind of buggy. I'm not going to lie about that. They had a controller set up so you can set up controllers. I didn't do it that way. I went through main, configured it in there. You can do it that way too. You're going to be limited on uh, your main. Because, like I said, it's setting this up kind of like a Xbox controller for a uh, arcade cabinet. Versus, this literally has the settings for everything in there. Um, that's how I set it up. Set it up however you want. Um, they've got a lot of stuff now. Restart. Uh, if you go over to the next menu, you've got uh, other options. Boot. Like I said, Sega Mat. All these I've got. Um, but to safely shut down now. You can shut down there. I can come back to this menu and now safely shut down where before I was just powering off. I had no other no other options. But um, so that's what it looks like. And show you a neat little trick is uh, on this. If you're using the Zenmo, you have one and two buttons. So if you go ahead and second button, you can come down here and you can hide empty MCUs. So if we make that true and we exit out, let the main menu repopulate. <clears throat> and there you go, there is all you have is that, which is, I think, pretty cool. But you'll also notice right here where you have themes. You can go here, and they have a built-in Tron theme. I think it's the only theme on here. So if we switch over to that, which is also how I'm going to be running it. I'm going to keep all the emulators on there, just so there's not literally one icon. <laughs> it goes to this one. And you see right there, you have MAME for All, 2244. Um, I'm not sure what happened. It should be 2270... Something I'm not sure. I'll have to go in there and look. Might be something with the uh, thing. But you got a nice Tron theme layout. And if you go here, and let's go ahead and put those. Uh, let's go ahead and put those emulators back, even though they don't have ROMs in them. And there you go. Main for all, advanced main, Atari. Much nicer 
layout. But uh, let's go ahead and I'm gonna try to keep this video short. You have volume in here, theme, show cursor, whole bunch of stuff. So let's go down to uh, or up to theme. Go default. There we go. Lock that in. Go ahead and reboot or not reboot, but go back into the original, the default menu here. Yeah, I really, 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 really like this now. So, uh, yeah, I like it. Uh, so let's go ahead and see what's new. <clears throat> They've changed this up a little bit. Now, I've already loaded the ROMs on here and scrapped them. And is that not the coolest thing ever? Okay. Now, you also have a back that works very well if I wanted to go back to the main menu. And you have page down, page up by going left, right to page up, page down. Or See, before having thousands of ROMs on here was pointless because you had to... It would have took you forever. It was major pain in the ass which is why I only had the ROMs I wanted now you have a picture and you can page up page down also like I said you have one button two button second button you can just go to let's say Solomon's key under S boom I'm at the S's right Solomon key is in the S O By far my favorite favorite. Let's go see here. Solomon Key Japan. I got that light on which is glaring it out. And there it is. <coughs> And see, before, I didn't have a way to exit out of this. Had to just shut off the unit, go back in. Not now. So, let's go ahead and coin. And player one. And there we go. Solomon's key. Now... Here's where it gets cool. I've already went in here and configured this button and this button. First off, I already went in here and configured this to be pause. Now I went and configured pause and the coin button to bring me into options or settings, whatever you want to call it. And now I can go through here and I can config whatever I want. And I've already configured the back button or escape. So exit out of that, exit out of that. I've configured a lot on here. That's what I've been doing all day. <laughs> and now I can exit out of the game. That is worth its weight in gold. Exit out of the game, exit out of the emulator, come back to the main menu. I absolutely love it. So. Uh, that's kind of pretty much the main things I wanted to show you what they've updated the most page up page down I asked them for that they got it and uh, exit button fully config everything in main four for the Zen mode this is by the way not the single one this is the dual single one should work the same the dual one I haven't had time my buddy has a two-player system with the same thing the Zen mode dual as this one as the controller for the arcade uh, controllers. Haven't tried it yet with the MAME. Uh, I'm kind of curious to get to that and to uh, get that going. Now I'm not going to leave it like this. I don't, I think the, the guy did a great job on the, um, on the uh, theme here on Tron. And this is how I'm going to run it. Just like this. So 
So when you boot it, now when you boot it, because I left it default for the video, it'll load just like this to this, which works very, very well for me. So I can go boom, boom to my games, go over to the... Not all the good games seem to be an S. Street Fighter 2. Here's Search and Rescue. SDI. No image on that one. SOS. That's a looks like an older one. <laughs> it looks like Pong with a cow. No idea. No idea. Saints Dragons. <laughs> so Street Fighter is. Let's see here. World. For some reason, there's no World Street Fighter 2 World Warrior image. Hmm. Oh, these are duplicates. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Street football. Hmm. Street Fighter 2 Hyper Championship. Yeah, whatever. Well, yeah, I guess that's the closest to the original you can get. Street Fighter 2. Um, yeah. Street Fighter. There's a couple of ROMs too, like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2 and The Simpsons, where before you were stuck with. I believe it was Donatello and um, go, ahead. go ahead and pause that. Um, where you're stuck with Donatello or Bart Simpson, and uh, if you don't know why, the old those units for some reason you select the character by what coin slot you put it in. They had four coin slots, and whatever coin slot you put it in, that was your character. So I went in here and configured. Coin slot one, hold this, coin slot two, hold this and press this button, three and four. So now you can select those characters on those games. I don't have time to get into those, but. Uh... I can't say enough how excited I am about, uh, about this. Oh, coin, duh. <laughs> And me and my buddy were just talking about, um, oops, player one. Um, because we we're having issues. We were uh, playing around with the uh, Raspbian, Raz, Razcade, or Raspbian Cade, or something like that. And it wasn't uh, setting up the buttons right. And this, you can see slow, fast punch, medium punch, and then fierce. And then fast kick, medium kick, and roundhouse I believe it is yep so it actually sets it up when you go when you go in there and you set it up you want to set up button one two three four five six or at least if, if you set up your zen mode by default with that little piece of paper that came with it that's how you're going to want to do it because that's how I did this so go ahead and exit out of this exit so finally the fruits of my labor of this thing was not easy to make. Fruits of my labor finally gets pulled together today because of this this image uh, from PyPlay. They really did a bang up job. So that's why I'm throwing this up on YouTube. So, um, somewhere in here. I will tell you this, this screen is a little bit harder to read than because um, it's the Tron layout, but it's not that bad. So. Go right there, which is shut down. I don't know if it's high def enough to pick that up. Shut down. Boom. So it's uh, probably a halt command. Uh, it's too quick for me. It's there. Come around here to the box. Now safe to power off. And power off. So, all right. Well, um, yeah, I'm sweating for some reason. I'm happy. It works for me. 
I like it. Um, go out, build one, or just, uh, you know, if you want a MAME, there it is. A uh, lot of bugs on this system, like I said. The forms are full with complaints. Just came out a couple days ago. Uh, and like I said, I was debugging it all day long just to get it this far. I'm done with it. I've already backed up the image uh, in case anything ever happens and I have to go back. This is 1 gigahertz overclocked static. You can look up on the internet on how to do that through your uh, boot directory. There's a config file. And... Uh, you lock it in with, uh, I think it's force underscore turbo equal one, and that'll lock it in where it's not dynamic and bouncing around. If you overclock it dynamic, I've had nothing but trouble. This is on an SD card, by the way. It's not on a USB thumb drive. I might do that in the future. Honestly, 32 gigs, a lot of room. Um, but just a few things about it uh, letting you know. So, I don't know. Have fun. I will.